Los Angeles, the second biggest metropolis in America and the biggest in the West Coast. Just recently, thieves have ransacked this area and left behind so much trash that it actually derailed a train. Just last weekend, from the recording of this video. I'm gonna ask everybody to please refrain from any heavily political or finger pointing type of comments. If you do any of those, they will not see the light of day. I appreciate it. Right where I'm standing right now is an area where an uprise in cargo thieves has risen. 160%. These boxes that you're seeing on the ground are the aftermath of these cargo thieves. You see, just on the other side of this fence, as you can see, this train is moving very slowly. And it also periodically stops. And that's when the cargo thieves do their thing. There are literally thousands and thousands of boxes, empty boxes, just lining this whole uh, railroad track. Looks like for quite a ways. It's kind of hard to think about that cargo theft has risen so high within the past few months. Now it's always been a thing, but to raise up to 160% just within these, just within this last year. Now I would go down there, get a little closer look, but from what I hear, the authorities are arresting anybody that goes down there because even though thousands of these boxes are empty, there are still a few that have some products inside and some people are taking advantage of that going down there and grabbing the packages that were left over from the cargo thieves. I had to put on my microphone. I'm not sure if this train is drowning me out. Hopefully this directional microphone helps. Looks like thousands of packages from FedEx from the post office, from UPS, and from Amazon. Just all of those companies have made a big loss. And the biggest loss are the people who actually bought these products and are never going to receive them on time. But hopefully, these companies can work it out. So as you can see, these trains slow down quite a bit right around in this area and gives the opportunity for somebody to jump up on one of these trains, on one of these carts, on one of these cargoes, cut the chain and just go to town. We have two trains right behind me right now that have come to a complete stop. Now this is the opportunity that people will take to jump up onto the cargo train, pick one of the cargos, bolt and cut or whatever they need to do to the lock, open it up and do what they need to do. Now, I'm assuming that now that this is all being called out, that this is going to slow down, which is great. But hopefully they can all figure out this mess and hopefully put a stop to it. And who do I feel sorry for the most? Probably the people that have to come by and clean this mess up because it does need to be cleaned up. And I have seen some progress. Now, I came out here a little late on this and it was much worse earlier on this week. Now, this happened, this happened about five days ago from the recording of this video. 
and like I said, they have made some progress on cleaning up some of this mess. Now folks, I just want to make it clear that this is not any kind of political, uh, I don't have any kind of political stance in this. I just found this really interesting that this has been on the uprise to the point where it got up to 160% uh, higher cargo theft than than we've had before so this is not a political stance this is just me being very curious just about the whole thing so just want to make that very very clear and I'm only saying that because a lot of people like to politicize certain events now you can't control everything and a lot of times when you're caught off guard like this things like this happen um, moving forward let's just hope that things are taken care of properly let's just hope that there's more security in the area moving forward look if you like this video please check out this video over here I believe this will entertain you just as much different topics all the time check out this video over here if you want to watch more of my content. I would appreciate it. All right, guys. Have a good one.